We are running a $200 Amazon gift card giveaway the entire month. All you have to do to enter is like this video, be subscribed, turn on your notifications, and comment why you want to win with your Twitter handle attached. I will announce the winner at the end of the month on Twitter. There are countless conspiracy theories out there. Most are too crazy to be true, some are plausible, and even a few have been proven true. Here are the top 10 craziest conspiracy theories the internet has come up with so far. Number 10. Michael Jordan's first retirement was actually a secret suspension. Michael Jordan's competitive drive cannot be questioned and he is considered by many to be the greatest basketball player of all time. He has three-peated twice, owning six NBA championship rings with the Chicago Bulls. What's strange is that after completing his first three-peat, he suddenly retired only to return a year and a half later and lead the Bulls to another three-peat. Why would someone who is clearly the best player in the league suddenly retire? Michael Jordan once testified in a trial of a convicted drug dealer James Bowler that he owed him $57,000 in gambling debt. Another businessman, Richard Aquinas, revealed in a book that he wrote that he had won $900,000 from Jordan on golf bets. The NBA launched an investigation into Jordan's sports gambling to see if he was in violation of any NBA rules. Months later, Jordan stunned everyone by suddenly retiring. The league then dropped the investigation. Conspiracy theorists claim that Jordan and the NBA came to an agreement to secretly retire in order to not damage the Jordan name with a suspension. Jordan returned to the NBA and the Chicago Bulls in March of 1995. They went on to win the NBA championship in 1996, 1997, and 1998. Number 9. Hitler is still alive. Well, this is highly unlikely. He'd be 128 years old today. Conspiracy theories that Hitler was alive after World War II have existed for quite some time. However, according to Decrypted Matrix, the Truth Seekers Archive, they claim that Hitler is responsible for the 2010 Gulf oil spill, which occurred on his birthday. Other conspiracy theorists say that he died in Brazil at the age of 94. Conspiracy theorists claim that Hitler fled to a small town in Brazil. It is claimed he used the name Adolf Leipzig and was known to the locals as the Old German. Another theory is that he fled to Argentina via submarine. Number 8. The Earth is Flat This conspiracy theory has made a strong comeback lately. It's even gotten celebrity endorsements from the likes of Kyrie Irving. Former NBA star Shaquille O'Neal actually endorsed this view. When asked to respond to Kyrie's comments, Shaq replied, It's true. The Earth is flat. The Earth is flat. Yes, it is. I don't understand what benefit any governing body gets by hiding the shape of the planet, but flat earthers are almost certain that they are. Number 7. The moon doesn't exist and is actually a hologram. This is one of the most bizarre conspiracy theories I have come across. YouTuber Crow777 uploaded a video in 2013 of his observations of the moon. I will let him explain. So I'm filming one night looking for objects. I pan my camera down and the wave starts, this hologram wave. I don't notice it. And then it catches up to the camera and I do notice it. I glance at the moon, but when you're staring at things, you know, you don't know whether it's your eyes or what. And then I notice a second wave coming. Number six, Jay-Z is a time traveler. Jay-Z is best known by conspiracy theorists as a member of the Illuminati. This conspiracy arose after this photo from New York in 1939 was being circulated. They certainly look alike, this also isn't the first time a celebrity has been accused of being a time-traveling bloodsucker that is a part of the Illuminati. There's also Nicolas Cage and This Unknown, Mark Zuckerberg and Philip IV, Orlando Bloom and Nikolai Gergosu, and finally, Sylvester Stallone and Pope Gregory IX. Number 5. The sinking of the Titanic was planned. Conspiracy theorists argue that it wasn't even the Titanic that sunk in the first place, but a similar ship called the Olympic. The Titanic was one of three ocean liners built in Belfast, Northern Ireland. The Olympic was launched a year before the Titanic and suffered significant structural damage to the keel and steel beams. Repairs would be outrageously expensive, ranging up to millions of dollars. The conspiracy goes a little like this. The Olympic would be swapped with the Titanic and sunk in a staged accident. The Titanic would then be in the acting Olympic. Was this an insurance scam to salvage a struggling company? The ships were nearly identical and the swap would only require changing a few nameplates and plaques. Conspiracy theorists say that the most compelling evidence for these claims are the differences in the number of portholes on the ship. The Olympic had 16 and the Titanic had 14. The following picture shows the Titanic on a dry dock with 14 portholes and the bottom photo is the Titanic preparing for its first voyage, only this time with 16 portholes. 
Number 4. The Large Hadron Collider is a device used for bringing back an Egyptian god. This is one of the more strange conspiracies on the list. The Large Hadron Collider is the largest particle collider ever built. It was built by the European Organization for Nuclear Research, or CERN. Its purpose is to help answer some of the biggest open questions in physics. Conspiracy theorists have other ideas. They claim it is a multi-dimensional portal intended to bring back Osiris, the Egyptian god of death. This conspiracy was thought up by an internet blogger who goes by the name Galactic Human. So let's jump into this madness. He claims that there is a suspicious object known of the ancient Egyptians called the Ta Wur, or Eldest Lands. He believes it served the same purpose as the Large Hadron Collider. Egyptian scholars consider this a mystic symbol representing a connection between the real world and the underground, or Land of the Dead. Galactic Human tries to make the connection with this illustration of a cosmic wormhole in the Egyptian painting of the Tar Wur. Galactic Human says, Notice that when Seth is coming out, it seems that his body is twisted or warped. He goes on much longer, but it is pure gibberish. I'll link the rest of his claims in the description below if you're interested. Number 3. Hillary Clinton is actually dead and has a body double. This was a red-hot conspiracy theory that took off on the internet during the 2016 presidential election against Republican candidate Donald Trump and Democratic candidate Hillary Clinton. It mostly started when ABC News anchor Joe Torres opened his show by saying, We begin with breaking news about Hillary Clinton's death. This was being reported after Hillary Clinton was diagnosed with pneumonia. Torres meant to say health and not death, but conspiracy theorists began digging down the rabbit hole. Parody account for Congressman Stephen Smith tweeted photos comparing different shapes of ears and noses. Conspiracy theorists even tried tracking down actresses and impersonators that could be her body double. They found Teresa Barnwell. She lists herself as an actor and impersonator on her Facebook page and lined up to next to Hillary Clinton? Pretty close. Teresa Barnwell decided to troll these conspiracy theorists by tweeting this while Hillary Clinton was in New York. That was enough to rile people up and Teresa tried to put an end to it. Number 2. Former President Barack Obama could control the weather. Conspiracy theorists claim that Barack Obama would deliberately control the weather in order to divert attention away from anything controversial going on in the White House. In May of 2013, a mile-wide tornado hit Oklahoma, killing 24 people. Conspiracy theorists went nuts, claiming the United States Air Force caused this tornado to distract from controversies in Washington, D.C. Popular conspiracy theorist Alex Jones says, Of course there's weather weapon stuff going on. We had floods in Texas like 15 years ago. Killed 30-something people in one night. Turned out, it was the Air Force. Conspiracy theorists claim that the administration can control weather patterns using HAARP, or HARP, located in Alaska. A conspiracy theorist uses this screenshot from HARP in attempts to support their claim. And number one on our list of the top 10 craziest conspiracy theories, the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge is actually secretly baptizing people into Satanism. There is only one way to describe this conspiracy theory. Bat shit, stone cold, fucking nuts. But let's dive into it anyway. If you don't remember, the Ice Bucket Challenge is a challenge that went viral in the internet in 2014 to raise money for ALS. It simply was the act of dumping ice cold water on yourself and then challenging another person to do the same. It raised $115 million and led to some breakthrough research in ALS. Well, according to Selena Owens, a writer for World Net Daily, this Ice Bucket Challenge was a secret baptism into Satanism. Owens is the vice chair of the conservative campaign committee PAC and the author of The Power Within a Conservative Woman, Engaging America for God, Family, and Country. She claims to have investigated the Ice Bucket Challenge and discovered it to be darker rather than enlightening and quite cult-like. She searches for hidden messages in the Ice Bucket Challenge and landed on Oprah Winfrey. Winfrey uses the words in the name of ALS and the Ice Bucket Challenge before being doused with a bucket of ice water. This did not sit well with Owens. She felt that Winfrey was mocking the phrase in the name of Jesus. Pouring water over one's head correlates with water baptism, which is a sacred Christian deed of cleansing and purification. She claims that the Ice Bucket Challenge is a satanic ritual. How does she arrive at this bizarre conclusion, you ask? Well, celebrities like Beyonce, Jay-Z, Rihanna, Lady Gaga, and Nicki Minaj are watched by impressionable young people who are indoctrinated with blatantly satanic rituals. Lady Gaga's Ice Bucket Challenge is pointed out specifically by Owens. She does not use a bucket, but rather a large silver bowl associated with pagan worship. 
Owen says, do you think she would take the ice bucket challenge if it didn't meet her pagan criteria? Not a chance. That concludes our top 10 craziest conspiracy theories. Additional reading is available for you down below. If you enjoyed the video, please click that thumbs up button. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.